Hi folks, I'm back in here again and I want to talk to you about uh, brain fog caused by the narcissist too, folks. The narcissist can cause us to have feelings that uh, we really can't think straight on a lot of things. We can be very forgetful. We won't sleep good at night and... Um, also, I don't know if you guys has heard about this or not, but um, you can also get yourself into a mindset of saying to yourself, what have I got myself into? You can have the mindset of that. And also, you get confused because you know that it's not going to work out. So you got to try to make plans to try to... Um, Help yourself get out of the narcissism and stuff, folks, but you're not quite sure what you're going to do. And uh, you can't seem to get your mind wrapped around the idea of getting away from the narcissist. Well, I've been in that position, folks. It's kind of like you feel trapped, but it gives you a mindset of uh, what have I got myself into, you know? Uh, that's the way I was with the psychopath down in Lebanon, Kentucky, because he was a highly dangerous person, folks, and I never knew what to expect. And yes, I understand totally how you feel, folks. And you ain't got to be ashamed of sharing your feelings with me, folks, because most likely if you tell me anything about your... your uh, situation i'm going to be able to relate to it because i've been there and done that and i totally get how you feel about it folks but that's what we're in here for folks we're all um talking to each other about the things that we've been through with the narcissist and um uh, yeah ptsd can cause a lot of brain fog you can suffer from confusion a lot, folks. And the thing about PTSD, folks, is it never goes away. Uh, you know, if you get uh, PTSD caused by the narcissist, it can be treated and stuff, folks, but it never goes away. And you can be confused. You won't know... Um, half the time where you're at and what you're doing and you know you're gonna suffer ups and downs every day uh you just have to work on yourself constantly you know to try to function and i know folks i get it i understand totally so if you're you're sharing your story with me on what you've been through and stuff uh, it's not going to come as a surprise to me in any way, shape, or form because I've been down that up that road and down that road too, folks, with the narcissist. And I totally understand how you feel and stuff. And this is why we try to work on mind therapy, folks, is to try to help ourselves... Um, have something to do and have something to look forward to because when you first get out of a narcissistic relationship folks you don't know what you're going to do with your life you don't know where you're going to live next and everything because remember folks if you go to a shelter uh that you will be able to stay there for a while, but eventually you will have to uh, strike out on your own, you know, and um, and this is, I'm talking about when you're, when you're still in brain fog, folks, but this is a constant job working on yourself, trying to, uh, you know, forget that you've got that, uh, mindset of being forgetful and all that stuff and you have to try to make yourself be strong enough to function during these times uh and it's worth it folks if you really work on the confusion and stuff like that it's worth every penny of it 
I know because I've been there. And I went all the way from the bottom of the barrel back to the top, folks. And I know if I can do that, you can do it too. But I know the confusion that it causes and everything. And uh, if you want to share your story with me, folks, get up in the reply box and share your stories with me. Because sometimes, folks, whenever we got things bottled up inside, uh, it's not good for our health, you know, and we have to talk about the situation and get it out, you know, to somebody that you can totally trust. You can totally trust me, folks, because I've been there. And I understand exactly how you feel. And I'm not going to think you're silly or anything for telling me your story. Because most likely, whenever you tell your story, folks, you're going to be telling mine, too. I know exactly what it is, folks. And uh, I'm not getting on here just rambling, folks. I'm getting on here to try to uh, let you know that I know what you're going through and stuff. And these are the reasons that we try to get in here and work on uh, the rocks and the roses and think about different ways to, you know, uh, focus on something different once in a while, you know, to try to help us be uplifted and everything. But, uh, yeah, PTSD caused by the narcissist, folks, it's not a picnic. It causes you mood swings, ups and downs. It causes depression. And sometimes if you let it, it can be cause you to have a low appetite. Uh, you, you start getting real down and thinking about why you let yourself get in that position. And folks, don't feel guilty about getting in a narcissistic relationship because it happens to the best of us, folks. You know, uh, narcissism doesn't discriminate. There's people that work in banks and everything else, folks, that gets in narcissism. So it's not just us that got into it. It's people like that, too. Because the narcissist has learned to be so uh, intelligent in the way of drawing people into their relationships and stuff that they have got uh, to be perfectionists, so to speak, in that sense. And this is how people get stuck in these relationships as that, folks. And, you know, um, what you can do, folks, is get you a tablet, make you a journal of everything that goes on with you and how you feel inside and all your confused feelings and all this stuff. And uh, keep track of how you feel, folks, and that way you'll have something that you can look back on whenever you are out of the narcissistic relationship for a while. And it will help you see how much advanced that you have become. But yeah, uh, this will help you out a lot, folks. And I'm just trying to help you uh, find different ways, folks, to help deal with these feelings that you have. That's for male and female both that suffered narcissism. Because we all know that the uh, fit, there is female narcissist just like there's male narcissist. And it's not an easy path, folks, but we have to keep working on ourselves and helping ourselves. And I don't mean to keep repeating myself, folks, but that's the whole thing, is we need to keep working on ourselves and try to help ourselves get better. But that's what I do every day, folks. And I'm not going to say it's an easy path, but uh, we know that we have to do this if we want to get past all these things, folks. And uh, if you ask me, does it bother me talking about this? 
Uh, sometimes it does, folks. You know, because it brings back all the feelings that I had when I was with the narcissist. But that's okay, folks, because that could help me heal a little bit better, too, folks. Well, I want to get back in here and talk to you again. Say hello to you. Hello. And I hope you guys have a good day and a blessed day, too. Thank you, and you got this, folks. Bye-bye. You're awesome.